Beyond the Law of Attraction with Barbara Schreiner Trudell. The Law of Supply. One of the interesting things about us human beings is that we're never satisfied. Have you ever noticed that? We always want a little bit more. It seems that we have you know, a set of goals that we, we set and we start accomplishing them. And as we accomplish them, we think, well, wow, there, we're done. <laughs> or not really. Actually, what we end up doing is we begin to create new goals, don't we? We begin to expand and want something bigger, something more. There is never a real sense of, of true satisfaction, or maybe we're satisfied with what was, but now we've have got a bigger dream and we move on. Perpetual increase is natural. Constant growth is natural. Progress is what we do. We are forever expanding. We are forever moving forward. We are forever creating something more. We are forever moving in a bigger, more expanded way. And look around you lately, and you'll see that that is so, so true. If you bought a computer two years ago, you need a new one today. Not because it doesn't work, but because it can no longer keep up with today's technology. It's fascinating to me how rapidly things are expanding and moving. And what we want to do is take a look at our own lives and see how it is expanding, how our dreams are expanding. What we want to know, and what I'd like to share with you, is that this universe that we live in supplies our every need, no matter how big it is. It supplies our every need, no matter where we are, what we desire. It supplies our every need. What we believe about life, we will see in our life. And as we begin to expand the possibility of what we believe is possible for us, then the universe meets that demand and begins to supply it. The law of supply is exact. Whatever it is that I think I can have in my life, that's what I get to have. Not one speck more. Okay? Not one speck more. So if you are looking at your life today and saying, you know, I've been working with the law of attraction and, you know, I've got a million dollar bill, you know, taped up on my vision board, but I don't have a million dollars yet and I've been doing this for six months. I invite you to pay attention to what your thinking is about money. And if you have got a consciousness about how much money you can receive, maybe you work in a, in a field where you're at the top of your field right now. And so you look at that and you go, well, I'm getting paid at the highest level within this industry and there is no more. If that is what you're thinking about, the law of supply is exact. It is only going to bring to you that much. Even if you change jobs tomorrow, because of that belief system, you would in fact continue to earn the same amount of money in a different employ. So here's the thing. What we need to do is expand the container. We need to be willing to receive more. And we might do that in steps. We might do that a little bit at a time. Or we may turn around and do it in one fail swoop, one big leap. One of the things that I've heard often is for people who win the lottery, for example, somebody will be oh, doing a, a regular job, earning 30 grand a year or something, and all of a sudden they win you know, $5 million in the lottery. And a year later, they're flat broke again. What happened? What happened? Why were they not able to take that million dollars, grow it, expand it, invest it, and create a whole new life and a whole new experience from it? And I think it's all about our container. What it is that we think we can have, we can only have that much. We will never get more until we believe we can have more until we get comfortable with that expansion. I think we have to constantly expand. If we're comfortable in a certain place, I think we should push it just a little bit so that we begin to, to send a message to the universe going, I'm ready for more. Imagine for a moment that you were going to the ocean and you went with a teaspoon. How much ocean water can you take away from the ocean? 
Yeah, one teaspoon. That's what you went with. That's all you can take. The supply is there. The ocean is vast. There's plenty of water. You could take more than a teaspoon. However, your container that you went there with is a teaspoon. That container can only hold a teaspoonful of water and no more. Now, if you go with a cup, you'll come back with a cup. That's a bigger container. And if you go there with a pipeline, you will have this constant flow of ocean water filling your life in whatever way you choose. You see, the law of supply is infinite. Supply is there. But what happens is, in some ways, we block that supply. And we block that supply when we're not quite ready to believe in our own value that we could have more. Maybe we've always had poor health, and we'd really like to be healthy, but somehow we can't imagine it. We need to bring ourselves to a place where we can imagine it. We need to bring ourselves to a place where we can begin to imagine a bigger possibility for ourselves. And as we do that, and as we spend enough time thinking in that way, and as we create our life according to that bigger standard, as we do that, we will, in fact, begin to receive more in our lives. But it starts on the inside. You see, receiving the infinite abundance of the universe doesn't come to us because we're pretty or smart. It comes to us because we're willing to receive it. We've created a container big enough to hold it. And until we do that, it won't come. Or if it does, it will come fleetingly. So we need to expand our container. We need to expand our comfort. I remember speaking to a group of people a little while ago about how they would feel having lunch with, say, President Obama or J-Lo or their neighbor. And I know some people would be very comfortable having lunch with their neighbor, but would be terrified to have lunch with the president. Why? These people, these three people I just mentioned, have different jobs. They live in different cities. They live in different homes. But the reality is, that they are simply people with dreams and desires just like anyone else. They came to this life and they come with a bigger container maybe than your neighbor does, but it doesn't make them more special. Everyone is special. It just means that they have a larger container with which to receive the things that they want in life. So I invite you to contemplate the container that you have for your life. I want you to th really pay attention to how you feel about yourself. Do you like yourself? Do you like yourself enough to create greater wealth in your life? Do you like yourself enough to create greater happiness in your life? Do you like yourself enough to have health? I want you to think about that. And I have an exercise for you to do. What I'd like you to do each day, whatever area of life you're working on, each day I'd like you to get up in the morning and set an intention for the day. Set an intention for the day. So maybe you want to feel a greater sense of peacefulness in your life. So when you get up in the morning, you just make a statement. I am peaceful. I am at peace with my life. Now, as you go through your day, you will have opportunities to not be peaceful, and you'll have opportunities to be peaceful. What I want you to notice is at the times when you find it that you just can't get there, I want you to pay attention to those times. 
And if you can, if you can notice that, wow, I said I wanted to be peaceful today. I said my intention was I am peaceful today. But my reality is that I am actually really struggling here. I'm having a really rotten day. I'm fighting with my neighbor. I'm honking my horn at somebody who cut me off in traffic. I'm anything but peaceful. Just notice what the trigger was. Notice how you're feeling and pay attention. And maybe when you have an opportunity, just write a little note about it. What happened and what your emotional response was to it. And once you become aware, once you notice that you're off the rails, just ask yourself, just say, I'm peaceful, and bring yourself back on. And I know it sounds simple and impossible at the same time, but the reality is it really is simple. And I want you to just practice with this. Don't believe it because I said it. I want you to just practice with this idea. When you notice that you've gone off the rails, just take a breath Whew. and go, you know what, I want to be peaceful now and ask yourself what it would take for that to happen and move into that peaceful place. As we begin to do this more and more, what we start to realize is that we have more control over our life and experience than we thought and that as we begin to shift our perspective about anything, it all changes. And what we can do is expand our container. We can expand what it is that we believe about life. What I want you to know is that the substance of life that we see around us can be changed, it can be converted, it can be transmuted, but it can never be fully destroyed. Nothing is ever fully destroyed. I mean, just think about it. A tree grows, drawing nutrition from the soil, from the sun, and it grows. And then maybe after 100 years, it begins to rot and decay. And that rotted, decayed tree goes into the soil and becomes the nutrients for the new life that begins to grow again. And this is the case for all of life. It's the case for everything. So we want to take a look at our lives and we want to take a look at what we're doing. And I really believe that we can change our reality. I know we can. Fretting and worrying, getting all upset about things that close us off the flow of substance in our life. Instead of tightening up our thinking, we need to relax and be more expanding in our thoughts. So this is why when you catch yourself being all upset and worried and frantic, ah, take a deep breath and relax and begin to look at what it is you truly want to create in your life. Relax your body, relax your thoughts, and allow yourself to move into a more receptive place, a place where you can begin to draw our mind is, is like a magnet, and it draws to us things that are like us, things that are the same as us. If we're angry and frustrated, we're going to attract that. If we're kind and compassionate, then we'll attract that. The law doesn't determine how much good you're going to have in your life. You do. So if you begin to realize that there's infinite supply and you have the power to attract it to you, you'll begin to see a shift. You'll begin to see a shift in what happens in your life and you'll begin to experience a whole lot more. You'll begin to experience the joy and the wonder and the health and the well-being and everything that you want. The reality is that we have to begin to expect more. We have to be willing to be vulnerable for a moment and put ourselves out there. We have to be willing to say, this is my dream and I'm going for it. And then notice the ways in which we block ourselves. Remember, no one else is stopping our good. We are stopping our good if it isn't coming. It's only us. We are the ones that are controlling the flow. Relax into the law of the universe and move with it, and what happens is you will begin to see all of your dreams coming to fruition quickly and easily. The law of supply is exact, and it's infinite. Ah, open up to receive.